Hey everyone, it's Jojo and today I have a triple Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing and review. This is from the new wave. Um, I know there's more, but these are the three that I decided to pick out because they look really cool. Uh, so from left to right, we have Darkest Cyrus Ultra. In the middle, Ramparian Ultra Pyrus. And then last but not least, we have Ventus Batrix Ultra, whose Baku gear looks super amazing. So let's take a closer look at each one of them. So first up, we have Cyrus Ultra here, Darkest with its Baku gear. Uh, you can see the graphic on the top right corner of the Baku gear looks like some type of arrow. And on the back, we can see a little bit more detail of the toy and all the contents of this package. Then we have Pyrus Ramparion. It looks really, really awesome. Love those flames in the graphic down there. Uh, on the right, again here on the back, we can see it equipped on the toy itself and it looks really cool and then next up we have batrix ultra who looks super cute really tiny compared to the um the baku gear it's holding and check that out looks like missiles or like torpedoes or something can't wait to try it on this bakugan so let's get all of them open up first up let's take a look at dark osiris ultra and the baku gear here are the cards that it comes with so here's the character card, Darkest Cyrus Ultra. You need two magic shields to play it. It starts off with 400 B power and five damage and no ability. Really, really cool artwork. Um, I really like the position of, or like the stance of this Bakugan. Uh, and I'm going to compare that to the actual Bakugan toy itself in a little bit. But let's not get into that just yet. Uh, because we have the Baku gear. This is Darkest Destroyers. Costs 2 energy to play. And you gain um, a Shadow Strike. <laughs> I almost forgot. Anyway, <laughs> you also get 200 B power and 1 damage. Plus 1 damage. All right, next up we have the Baku cores, and this guy comes with some really, really big B power buff. So again, two shields. First buff is plus 500, and for your Baku gear, negative one energy. The next one is plus 400, and then negative two energy for the Baku gear. So you kind of, you're kind of trading that 100 B power for that less energy uh, cost. All right, and then we have the two. Um, components for the Baku gear. Uh, we have these two arrows or quivers that go into the hexagonal holes. And then next up we have this pack with the crossbow on the back uh, and really cool diamond shapes or diamond back shapes going down the middle there. And we have the darkest attribute printed there. And when this activates, you'll be able to see how it looks like and how everything comes out. All right, and then we have Cyrus in its ball form, and it looks really great. I love these treads going down the back here. It looks like scales. Uh, the wing design, the wing details looks really great. And again, there is the darkest symbol. Uh, here's the other side of the wings. It looks really cool. Really awesome looking. And we've got the arrow pointing this way. Oh, there we go. And he jumped but did not land on his feet. And here we have darkest Cyrus Ultra. Uh, all right, so some positives about this Bakugan in its fully transformed form. I really love the wingspan here. It really reminds me of Pegatrix. I love that it comes into two different um, sections on each side. Again, the detail on the wings are really great. Uh, you can even see it through. I love that it is translucent, so you can kind of see a little bit of shadows and details when you hold it up there. And uh, kind of like with a lot of the other Bakugan, the arm is fixed to the body. It's got these really wide feet and like this scaly belly and it also kind of continues down to the tail here. And we got the backpack all the way here also kind of acts as like a, a stabilizer. All right, so uh, yeah, the, the position of Cyrus is really funny. It's really haunchy looking, uh, really low, kind of looks like he's just squatting a little bit. And I don't like that the Baku gear is all the way back here. I wish that you could just put it on the back. And um, yeah, let's compare that to the stance on the card. Look how tall and slender it is on the card compared to this chubby little thing squatting down here. Um, I kind of get why they wanted to do it as a different position because this kind of looks like Dragonoid and I know they don't want to have just another Dragonoid clone in toy form. And uh, so yeah, I think that's why they decided to have it in a different position. But yeah, it's just kind of like haunchy looking. 
right, anyway, that's just, just my only gripe with it. Uh, here we have the Baku gear and the hex holes down here. Let's point that forward. Although it does kind of like bend the feet in a little bit, which is fine. It should still be able to stand up a little bit. Let's get that on the other side. You can see that the feet kind of turn in, but it's still standing. And then the buckle gear do, does go on the back side. So let's actually face it this way so you can see better. And we have these two bows that come out and the arrow that shoots forward. So to fold that, you just push everything in and let's do this one more time. There we go. That was a better, better view of that. All right, and here we have Cyrus with all of the Baku gear on it. Yeah, so you can see what I mean when the <laughs> the gear is just all the way back here on the tail. It just kind of looks funny. I think I think it would just look better if it was like a little bit closer onto the back. But anyway, let's take this out and we'll show you how to fold it. So this has a challenge level of two, which isn't too bad. So first up, the wings fold in and come down so it kind of covers the side and you could already see the ball form uh, forming and then the feet and we have this little hinge on the back here and then you pull the tail and fold the tail all the way up until this point then you push the head down and close it and that is Dark Osiris Ultra back in ball form. Next up we have Pyrus Ramparian Ultra. Here are the cards. The character card, Ramparian Ultra, you need a regular shield and a helix. And here we have this really cool graphic of the Bakugan. And it comes with 600 B power and 3 damage. And we have the Baku Gear, Pyrus Stormer. You need 6 energy to play, which is pretty expensive. But you get double strike and plus 600 B, but no damage. I mean, you do get that double strike, so you would be able to hit them for th uh, 6 damage. Plus uh, 600 plus 6, that's actually really high. And if you have Baku cores that give you negatives on the energy, then that's also um, a good strategy to play it. All right, and then for the cores, we have a regular shield and a helix. So the regular shield is plus 150B, negative 2 energy for your Baku gear. And the helix is plus 400, but you get w negative 1 damage. And you also get negative 1 energy for your Baku, Baku gear. All right, and then we have the actual Baku gear here. We have two uh, flaming missiles um, off for the backpack, and then we have two for the hex holes down here. It looks really great. Love the translucent. I mean, like f uh, like fire translucent colors looks really great. Really brings out that element. And we have Ramparian Ultra in ball form, and I am loving the translucent colors because when it's all folded up, it makes the colors look darker than it really is. And when it opens, you can see how much brighter it becomes since it's not all folded and causing all those shadows. But yeah, it looks really great. I love the translucent colors and uh, all the details that go with it, all the solid paint that goes with it as well. It looks really great. And then here we have the Pyrus symbol printed on the Bakugan. We got the magnet and the arrow pointing in this direction. There we go. <laughs> A lot of these Bakugan are just bouncing off of the camera's view. Here we have Ramparian Ultra all transformed. Really love the stance on this guy. Oh, but first of all, we do have to flip the feet around so you can see his nice pretty green toes. All right, let's take a closer look. A really nice head. I really like um, like these green flames or what is that, like extra teeth maybe <laughs> coming out on the side. Uh, really, really long neck, big body. We've got these two flaps. I think these are the, um, the two uh, spikes that come out of the side. We have uh, the feet down there and the backpack and B-Power, um, the magnet backpack where you put the Baku gear. And so let's demonstrate that. First, the hex holes are down here on the side. Plug those in, the two smaller pieces. You can see the, uh, the green holes in the front, flames in the back, and then we have the Baku gear facing this way. 
and check that out that looks so cool <laughs> very power rangers-y that looks really really great flaming missiles or whatever it is super fun to close up this bakugan you gotta remove the baku gear then fold or twist the feet around and then fold it in fold that in as well and these come down the head also folds back this way and then the magnet backpack comes all the way just like that and that was a challenge level as to, of two as well and last but not least we have ventus batrix ultra and i'm gonna say this right away this is probably one of my favorite out of the three all right so here we have the cards we have the character card, Batrix Ultra. You need two green fists to play it. And we have this really cute graphic of him right there flying in front of you. And then it comes with 500 B power and five damage. And we have the Baku Gear, Vent Tornado, which is the actual Baku Gear that comes in the package. Um, I don't know the other names of the other ones, but I got to do my research and figure that out. Um, I think I do have some cards of those. Um, but yeah, I'll just, if you want to let me know, just let me know in the comment section. Anyway, so Ventornado, <laughs> sorry, Ventornado, four energy to play. Uh, you get plus 400 B and plus two damage. So not a lot, but, and it's not really on the cheap side. But again, you just got to use those Baku cores that give you negatives for your energy. All right, and then, or yeah, your Baku gear energy. And then next up we have the two green fists. So we have plus three damage for one of them and then negative one energy for your Baku gear. And then the next one is plus 50 and then plus one damage and then negative two for your Baku gear. So not a lot of buffs, but again, you still get that negative for your, um, for your Baku gear. And then we have the Baku gear itself. This is probably the bulkiest that I have so far. It's really huge. <laughs> compared to all the other ones and then we have these other two little baku gears that come that go on the um the hexagonal holes they kind of look like thrusters which makes sense and then we have batrix ultra in ball form again like with remperion uh the colors when it's just folded together gives it a darker look almost like candy in my opinion and all the solids against it looks really, really great. And it it's not like um, how Diamond Bakugan, where it's just all clear, and you see some of the colors poking through. I, I think I'm really liking the translucent colors more than the diamonds itself. And there we have Batrix all transformed. Let's take a closer look. Really nice translucent colors again. Um, he's got a really big head sculpt compared to the other ones. And we have these giant horns on the side of its head. It kind of gives me like Maxator vibes a little bit. And we have these wings that come all the way out. And the magnet backpack here. And the feet. And the tail with the Ventus symbol on it. And the B power is right there. 500. And I don't think there's any manual parts you have to move with this particular one all right so we have the baku gear which i will put it on so i think i want to put it on this side because the thruster is kind of pointing that way there we go so we've got the two there and then we have this giant one <laughs> this giant buck uh baku gear uh, i hope i put it on the right way the first time yeah there's the arrow <laughs> nice all it does is point up but check that out Man, compared to the Bakugan itself, it's really huge and it's kind of heavy. And that little tail in the back really does help stabilize it a little bit. But yeah, that is the the vent the vent tornado. Check that out. <laughs> it looks really, really cool. Again, one of my favorites so far. And to close Batrix, really easy. This also has a challenge level of two. I'm finding that a lot of the new Armored Alliance Bakugan are really easy to close now. All right, so first head tucks in, horns go back, wings fold in, and the tail comes in this way, folds in, so that should hold, and then the feet fold in, and then the backpack comes last to hold everything together. All right. And that is Batrix back in ball form. All right.
right, so that is it for my unboxing and review of all of these Bakugan from Bakugan Armored Alliance. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if there's anything I missed or if you just want to leave some feedback, also please let me know in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time with more. See you soon.